Hi, so it is a 2-0 win over Answorth in the Sheffield Senior Cup, our very first win over Answorth. So what did you think of that performance? Yeah, good. Look, it's a, it's a cup game. It's a local derby. Tuesday night game. Um, so I'm really pleased with the performance and, and how professional it was. I'm really pleased with the clean sheet. Um, I thought first half we started really well. I thought we were really positive we were on the front foot. They struggled with us. We, we had a lot of possession and territory in their half. Um, just maybe our final pass or decision could have been slightly better, but we had a clear game plan and it worked brilliantly and it, and it led to the goal. Um, the front three linked up really well. Um, again, for the goal, and it's, it's a good ball in and a, and a good finish by, by Tucker. And we controlled that first half, they didn't really hurt us um, at all. They had one ball that went across the face of the goal, but all their shots from the edge of the box went over the bar, so we, had, we were in, in good control. They were a bit brave, they were brave the second half, so they put us in a little bit more pressure. We outcreated lots of chances. I think Henry's had two saves to make second half. We've had a number of chances. I think if he could have scored before he did his, his goal, could have scored before that, and we've had a couple of Good areas, good chances. Uh, they threatened more by pushing people forward, um, but we, we we stuck to how we wanted to play, and, and it worked really well. And, and I thought today the lads were really professional. Uh, they worked hard for each other again. They just kept that momentum going of, of, of the good form and that we're having. And yeah, look, you could say oh, we're in the league above, but we know that hands of sort of status and, and, and what they have behind them. So. Um, we knew it was going to be a tough game and I'm really pleased that we progressed to the next round. Uh, so Curtis turned it out today, Lee Whelan seemed to step into that sort of playmaker role that Turner usually occupies and he had a fantastic game. What did you think of him today? Lee Whelan's been excellent since he's been with us. Uh, we're really pleased to have him. Not only do I like him as a player, as a person, his first class, his, his character is excellent. He says he's only 20, he, he, he's very mature, he's a leader. Um, he, he understands his role, whether it's the deeper line one or it's a little bit further up. Um, he was excellent, he's been excellent since we've had him. It would have been even better if he hadn't been unfortunate to be to be sent off uh, wrongly at, at Grimsby. But since he's come back in, he's been superb. Obviously, you think you're going to miss a player of Kurt's um, quality, but that's why we have a squad. And I thought um, uh, Lee Whelan, Ross and Mitch were excellent in midfield. And then we have the, the luxury of bringing in somebody as good as Alex off the bench. So, yeah, we're really strong in that department. We also saw quite a lot of change in the four lineup because we obviously it seems to be in the first half we go with the Poole, who has been doing great at centre forward, got another finish today. Obviously Poole and McCaskill and um, Iffy, and then we seem to be able to bring on this Dylan and Johnny now. Is that a nice little option for you to have that extra pace off the bench now? It is, yeah. They, they do offer that directness, that pace when the game stretched, and it, it gives us that opportunity to hit teams on the counter to chasing it against us. Um, they're still young, so they're still learning the craft. They're enjoying it here. Um, so we've got to ease them, them in, but when they've come on, they've both done really well. Likewise, we've got Keenan um, as well, who's, who's that option. And when he played against Tad Castor, he did well, so we're very fortunate. Luke hasn't been in the 16 tonight, and he, he's done well whenever he's, he's, he's had to step up. And we're hoping now Luke Rawson's probably only two weeks away of coming back, so further competition, further quality as we move forward. Um, so obviously this means we're in the next round of the Cup. How confident are you going on all the way? Look, I made no secret of it, I want us to get to the, the final. Um, I want this club to, to, to win some silver, silver well, at least be in the final and do well. Um, we understand there's, there's strong sides in it, but look, we, we've done well in the FA Cup. We've done, started to do well in this. We're our backers against anybody in a one-off game, and the ambition is to get to the final, so we're taking it as serious as we are the league. So um, hopefully we can go far in it. Um, I'm just pleased that we can progress tonight. OK, so next up we're back into league action against Hebburn and one of the two teams we got double over last year and obviously it's a 5-1 win up there last time, one of our happiest road trips. What do you think of that performance? Which, what do you think of that game coming up on Saturday, especially with a win, meaning we're getting the playoffs? Yeah, look, Hebburn are much stronger, much uh, more organised, uh, much more physical. Uh, the managers from Shielden have taken over, who did well with Shielden and they've brought that physicality and signed some good players. Um, we don't fear anybody, we, 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 our away form is, is superb. Um, so we're going to go up there and get, get all three. Um, we've got some footage on them. Uh, we're we're going to train Thursday and, and the lads who are struggling, they've got a bit of a recovery session with Sam. So we're hoping we'll take a, a strong squad that we've had today into Saturday. Thanks very much, Ian. Cheers, Adam. Thank you.